Hello, everybody, and welcome back to New Age TV. I'm Steve, and today I have a special guest in our studio from MSI. Everybody, I want you to say hi again to David. David, how you doing? Hi, Steve. Nice to see you again. Nice seeing you as well, sir. And you guys probably already know this, but Haswell E has just launched the brand new CPU uh, lineup from Intel, and we're very excited about that. And I can't tell you about anything else other than the X99 boards that are right in front of me at this exact moment, because we will have a video later about Haswell E. So stay tuned for that on our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash Newegg in case you see this on Newegg.com and don't know what our YouTube channel is. Aside from that, David, why don't you get started telling us a little bit about your new X99 lineup? Well, Steve, as you just mentioned, the Haswell E has launched, and with that comes the launch of our new X99 boards. Cool. What MSI has done has launched five total motherboards for our X99S series. Okay. Um, Total, uh, we have under our overclocking category mm -hmm. is uh, the two boards, the X99S X Power AC and the X99S M Power. In our motherboard, uh, in our gaming category, we have the X99S Gaming 9 AC nice. and the X99S Gaming 7, which we have here on display today. Also, in our Pro Series, we have the X99S SLI Plus, which uh, your viewers might seem uh, I see a little differences because before our Pro Series had the blue trim, but this time we've actually gone into a full matte black. So the color schemes have changed a little bit, but the categories and are all still the same. Excellent. Right. Um, I, I kind of want to know across the line, I'm assuming that there are probably some features that they all share. Right. Uh, can you kind of speak to sure. that? Sure. Well, before we get into the details of each line and each board and all the new features of that, there are features that actually go across the board for all our X99S uh, motherboards. First of all is the introduction of DDR4, uh, which is actually going to give you, you know, a higher our memory speed and mm -hmm. um, faster throughput. Faster in throughput in general, yes. Also, uh, introducing across all the lines, all the lines of our X99S is the introduction of what we call the Turbo M.2. Mm -hmm. Now, this is a newer version of the M.2, uh, which runs on a PCIe uh, Gen 3 by 4 um, connectivity, giving you up to 32 gigabytes per second of, uh, of speed. Okay, so you, you lined it up with X4 Gen 3. Yes, nice. we do. All Tons across of throughput. Mm -hmm. All right. What else you guys did? Also, uh, you might notice the X99S uh, in the title for all of our motherboards. X actually stands for SATA Express, oh. which is actually now available on all of our X99 uh, motherboards. You know, that can give you speeds of up to 10 gigabytes per second, which I think the user will really appreciate. Okay, excellent. Mm -hmm. All right, David, why don't we just start off with the OC series then? Absolutely. Well, Steve, what I've done here today is I've brought a uh, sample of our X99. S overclocking series motherboard. Okay. Now this here is the big daddy. This <laughs> is the X99X X Power uh, AC. Now what this is is uh, an eATX size overclocking motherboard. Okay. So it's a little bit wider than your standard ATX, and it has um, what I mentioned before the same features that go across all of our X99 right. uh, motherboards, including the DDR4 memory, the Turbo M.2, and the SATA Express. New uh, on this uh, series is something we call the Direct USB. Now what this is, is more of a convenience uh, for the enthusiasts and overclockers out there. Okay. It is a front face mounted USB port, which uh, allows for users to easily plug in to flash their BIOS, maybe test out some hardware or you know, say save game data or, or anything like that. All can be done before it's even mounted into your your PC box. Okay, so your if case. you were doing it, you're just running it outside of a, a standard case because you're doing a lot of testing, it just easier access to it. Easier easy access, yes. Okay. Purely convenience. Okay. Um, and we think uh, you know the, the users out there would really appreciate that. Nice. Also, we have now when you're overclocking and you're trying to mount, like you're using liquid nitrogen or something like that, and you want to mount an LN2 pot, that can be a real pain, um, especially getting it mounted on the back. So what we have uh, new with this. X99 series is what we call the OC backplate. Okay. The OC backplate is actually a flat plate that goes on the back of the motherboard and helps you mount your LN2 pot directly, uh, very securely, with a flat back. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. And that, that's just that's using the LGA 2011 re, uh, Revision 3 backplate mm -hmm. that already comes with it, or replacing it? Because I'm not it's really actually replacing it. It is a okay. new uh, small. Back plate, flat back plate that goes on there. It's supposed to help you when you're attaching mm -hmm. your pot because right. it's much bigger, heavier than a standard. Right, right. Um, it gives you more stability because that's one of those things you want to be easily put in and right. you want to be stable. Okay. You don't that want that sense. liquid nitrogen spilling out anywhere. Yeah, yeah. Um, on the other side, we have something called the Dilid 
die guard. Now, this is if you want to take your lid off of your CPU and it exposed. You know, that could be a little dangerous. You want to be as protective as possible. Right. So what this does is, is a little uh, guard that goes over it that both protects it and also provides the perfect amount of pressure to putting the CPU on the motherboard. Okay, so right. basically it's just it's protecting the cores of the CPU mm -hmm. because that, that lid, that heat spreader being removed is obviously exposing the cores directly right. to whatever it is you're attaching to it. Exactly. So it just allows it, whatever you end up putting onto it, in this case probably a uh, LN2 pod or something mm -hmm. like that, and basically allowing it to seat securely and firmly and safely on top of that. Exactly. Okay. Now, um, the AC uh, in, the, in the name of this board, it actually stands for the wireless capabilities, and this X99S X-Power AC is running an Intel Wi-Fi. Uh, AC module. Okay. Also new is the ability for this motherboard to run a four-way multi-GPU. Uh, this motherboard is uh, NVIDIA SLI uh, approved, okay. Uh, okay. compliant, and also AMD Crossfire compliant. Excellent. Yeah. Okay. So anybody out there that wants to, to take advantage of the 40 lanes, depending on the CPU you get, or, mm -hmm. or possibly even the 28 lanes, you can get at least three-way with the 28 mm -hmm. lanes, right. um, I'm assuming, based on the, on the way that you've wired it up. But yeah, that's that's fantastic. So anybody out there that's looking to do four-way, this is probably a, a great overclocking choice that could utilize that. Exactly. Okay. Now, I want to mention to your viewers that today I have brought the, the X-Power out, which is an EATX uh, size uh, motherboard, but also available, which I unfortunately was not able to bring today, we have uh, the X99S M-Power, which okay. is a standard ATX overclocking motherboard. A lot of the features run through uh, are almost exa exactly the same, except obviously the form factor is a little bit smaller. Mm -hmm. uh, there's fewer phases okay. on there, and there's no wireless on the M-Power. Um, but just to let you guys know that there is that uh, uh, option out there available. All right, David, so uh, everything honky-dory about the overclocking, overclocking is awesome, but I, honestly, man, I'm, I'm more interested in the gaming boards. Can we just jump right into that? All right, well, I'm not surprised because the, <laughs> the gaming motherboards actually are bestseller and by far our most popular lineup of the motherboards. Well, what I've brought today is uh, the X99S Gaming 7. Um, this is a standard ATX gaming motherboard, and it actually, as well as the other X99s, has the DDR4 memory, our Turbo M.2, and the SATA Express. But in addition to that, what's really been beefed up on these uh, X99S gaming motherboards is the audio portions, um, just to enhance the whole audio side experience of, of, of gaming. Namely, with, it's the feature suite known as Audio Boost, Boost 2. Mm, okay. Audio Boost 2 is a feature suite that uh, includes many different things. Uh, first of all, is uh, the, there's an isolated audio PCB, which simply means that the audio portion of this motherboard is actually separated from the rest of the PCB to help with interference or any kind of a crosstalk or anything like that. Okay. Then we have the direct audio power, which actually, if you look down the bottom, there's a little slot there for a little dongle that actually connects directly to the power supply, powering this USB slot up here. Now, this gives you a consistent 5 volts of power that actually is not shared with any of the rest of the motherboard to give you nice, clear pure power and thus equaling sound. Excellent. So yeah, if you plug in your DAC or something like that, you, you don't have to worry about it. If it's not externally powered already and it's mm -hmm. going to get power from the USB, that's just your way of, of exactly. ensuring that it has the most clear uh, uh, reception possible for all of your audio. Okay. That makes sense. The, this Gaming 7 utilizes the Creative Sound Sound Blaster Cinema 2. Um, it also has EMI shielding to, to, protect, to protect against all, any kind of electromagnetic interference. Okay. Uh, Amp-wise, we actually were using dual amps uh, instead of just one. Okay. Down on the cap side, it was actually those are actually Nichicon uh, audio capacitors, these uh, golden caps down here, which are actually specifically designed for audio purposes, as opposed to you know before when you have just just standard audio caps. Um, over here on the I/O side, you notice that they are all golden audio uh, connectors, bringing about that the purest sound quality possible. Now, also on the, this, this Gaming 7 is uh, what we call our gaming app. Uh, gaming app is something that the gamer and user can go into the BIOS and adjust the overclocking levels of the motherboard. Okay. You, when you get in there, you have three choices. You can either do the max setting, of, which is called the OC overclock setting. You can do the mid-range setting, uh, which, is the, which is entitled gaming setting. Or the lowest for the most power consumption, uh, lowest power consumption, which is just called the silent mode. And probably also less sound, too, obviously, being mm -hmm. that it's silent. Right. So going with the maximum, you're going to have to deal with a little bit more uh, right. audio, audio noise in mm -hmm. the background, but, mm -hmm. uh, but get maximum performance. Excellent. 
back again on this uh, Gaming 7 is uh, the MSI's killer uh, e-networking. What this does is actually it is able to identify the traffic. When the, when the traffic is coming into the motherboard, mm -hmm. uh, it's actually able to identify the gaming traffic versus all the other traffic. Most and it will prioritize the gaming traffic over the rest to give you faster, smoother uh, gameplay. Excellent. Yeah, mm -hmm. so basically, if it, those of you who don't know out there uh, anything about killer networks, chips, but yes, basically, they're going to help prioritize packets so that if you're you're gaming, and obviously mm -hmm. a lot of you, if you're going to pick up the gaming board or going to want to game with it, it's going to allow you to prioritize that those packets so that you get the best possible gameplay while maybe still downloading items as well or, or stuff, whatever you guys like to download. You know what you like to download. <laughs> I don't need to bring it up. Uh, but I, I, I mean, that's the 7, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, the 9, I know physically we don't have... Uh, but there's a feature in there I really like. But can you just speak to maybe a couple of differences between the nine and the seven? Okay. Well, the nine, the, the gaming nine and the gaming seven are both still standard A ATX uh, gaming motherboards with a couple of slight differences. Most notably is uh, what we call the streaming engine. Now, this is something new that M MSI is introducing, specific with this X99S uh, series. The streaming engine is actually an onboard, uh, basically streaming studio if you will. Um, it actually is a H264 encoder, mm -hmm. uh, allowing you to uh, stream out at 1080p uh, at 30 frames per second. And it has a maximum bit rate of 60 megabytes per second. Megabits per second? Yeah. Nice. That's, that's awesome. So that's actually the thing I'm most interested in about this board. Mm -hmm. Uh, b because, I mean, first and foremost, it's an encoding chip. I mean, it's hardware that you guys have in implemented on that board mm -hmm. uh, that's separate than, from the CPU, separate from the GPU. Uh, so I'm really interested to see how, how well that performs and if it's implementing, you know, uh, XSplit or, or OBS uh, or if they will implement it as well as if is it going to be something that's just going to be pri 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 proprietary software. I mean, we're going to find out. Yeah, there's a lot about it. I mean, we could do an entire episode on, okay. on well, that. Maybe, which, we'll, maybe we will. Yeah, maybe we'll do a separate <laughs> video on something like that. Then. Okay. David, that leaves us with the, the final of the three different segmented sections mm -hmm. of your XN9S, this is the SLI Plus, is that right? Yes, uh, for our final segment here, this is our Pro Series section. We only have one Lone Ranger here, it is the X99S SLI Plus. Dressed in all black. All black, which <laughs> so your viewers might seem as a little bit different because usually our Pro Series boards are, are identifiable by their blue trim. Hmm. Uh, for the X99S series, we decided to put this in an entirely flat black matte color. It's very slimming. Um, it's very slim. <laughs> yes, black is very slimming. And we're actually really excited to see what some of the you know those modders and uh, uh, people come up with you know with this flat black color scheme. But this motherboard is actually more geared towards your uh, heavy duty usage, like your workstation uh, type of applications, okay. your embedded systems, uh, uh, server uh, uh, type applications. Mm -hmm. uh, because this actually, along with the X99S uh, uh, chipset, is actually fully compatible with the Intel Xeon. Uh, processors. Line up. So mm -hmm. you could basically yeah. just drop a Xeon processor in as long as it was LGA 2011 revision 3, three. compatible. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. Now, feature-wise on the board, this is this being more of a kind of like a workhorse uh, board. A lot of the features here are geared towards uh, protection and uh, prolonging the life of the motherboard. Because if you're going to buy it for your your employees, you want to make sure it's going to last as long as you can. Exactly. Possible. Right. Okay. Uh, most notably is uh, a feature suite that we have called the Guard Pro. Uh, feature suite. Mm -hmm. Guard Pro is a bunch of little features that actually act as specifically just to protect uh, different aspects of, of the board and thus ultimately making it last longer. Okay. Uh, features on the Guard Pro uh, feature suite include things like um, circuit protection, okay. which protects against short circuiting and overvolting and things like that. Eco power. Eco power is an inter interesting one. When certain s uh, sections of the motherboard um, are not actually being used, mm -hmm. the equal power will identify that and actually power them down. Okay. So you're going to be using uh, less power consumption and just make it more kind of eco-friendly. Okay. I think. Right. That works. Humidity protection is actually on here. The PCB is actually coated uh, with a special material to help it fight against uh, environments a little too wet, you know, uh, too humid. High humidity uh, mm -hmm. areas that we employed. It also protects against on the opposite end to high temperature. Uh, if the environment is too hot or things might uh, possibly get damaged, there's protection against that as well. Hmm. Um, electros electrostatic discharge protection uh, protects against that as well, as well as electromagnetic magnetic interference protection. There's EMI protection on the, in the Pro suite as well. Okay. 
Those uh, pretty much make up the Guard Pro uh, feature suites of protective features. There's also uh, the Military Class 4. All the components on this board are actually Military Class 4 certified, and all that really means is they've gone through like a 24-hour rigorous burn and test. They've gone make through sure. boot camp. They've, they've gone through sure. boot camp. Yes. Exactly. They've to been make yelled sure. at directly by the <laughs> drill sergeant. Yeah. Okay. So you're getting top-notch military class four components all across the motherboard. Right. Just making sure that it that it's been it's ran through the the rigorous 24-hour, 48-hour. I'm not sure what class four actually represents, but mm -hmm. whatever it is, just make sure it, it withstands that burn-in period. So right. by the time it gets to you at your home, it's it's gone through everything that can possibly cause it to fail right off the bat. So they know whether or not it's going to be able to withstand all the stuff you're going to do to it. All right. Yeah. And finally, we also have a, a, a new feature, and just call, it's called the CPU overcurrent protection. Okay. And all this basically does is it just helps protect, protect the hardware in case there's like a short circuit or, or something like that. Okay. And that's, so as you can see, the focus of the features for this SLI Plus is all about protection, longevity, long-lasting, reliability, nice. and like that, because this is designed to be that workhorse. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, hey, David, thanks so much for taking the time to step in with us. Thanks for having me again. Talk to, talk to us about the whole X99 lineup that MSI has out of This looks really interesting. Mm -hmm. So thank you again. Thank you guys also for watching. Don't forget, if you like videos just like this one, to stop on by our YouTube channel, which is at youtube.com forward slash Newegg. And until then, we will see you guys very soon.